Growing up, one of the safest and most comfortable places I could be was behind my drum set. And putting the drumsticks in my hands, that felt even more comfortable. But I'll tell you what felt really uncomfortable every single time, and that was my bass pedal. As I started listening back to recordings, it became very apparent that my kick speed and control was not good. Playing doubles just felt like a struggle and the whole technique of it just felt really awkward. Until one day I decided it was time to get some serious foot gains and I did. And that is exactly what I'm going to teach you in today's lesson because, well, this is a, this is a drum lesson channel. That's that's what we do. Now this is actually video number three of a six part free online workshop called The Drummer's Guide to Getting Unstuck. Let me prove it to you with this intro. In video number one, we talked about one of the biggest things that's holding drummers back from making consistent progress on the kit. And in video number two, we talked about why every drummer should be on a drumming path and how to get started with your own drumming path. So if you missed those two lessons, I included them both in the description below. Check them out and then maybe meet me back here. So what a lot of drummers actually don't know is that there are a lot of components to your foot speed. It's not all about just how fast you can move your foot. There are actually four pillars of foot speed that we are gonna go over. Pillar number one is technique. You want to know how to move your pedal in the most efficient way, and that's where technique comes in. Number two is control. You can't build speed on the pedal if you don't have control over it. Number three is muscle development. You have to build those muscles in your leg and your feet, just like it's very helpful for marathon runners to have stronger legs. I've never ran a marathon, but marathon runners, you can fact check me. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's helpful to have strong legs. And pillar number four is endurance. It's not very helpful if you can only be fast with your kick pedal for 10 seconds. All right, now that we know all the pillars, we are going to learn an exercise to develop each pillar. And then at the end, we're going to put it in a nice 30 day plan that is going to skyrocket your foot speed. First, let's start off with technique. And my favorite one being slide technique. Slide technique is simply when you slide your foot across the pedal to get two notes with one stroke. So this is a heel up technique and basically what you are going to do is tap the left side of the pedal and then as your heel starts to come down a little bit more, you slide your foot to the right side of the pedal so you are able to get those two strokes with one movement of your leg. Now that's the brief summary of it. I have a full video on it also in the description below. Now the slide technique is going to help you big time with those double strokes on the kick. And the perfect exercise to develop this technique is called the doubles displacement exercise. So this is a four measure exercise where we are just playing eighth notes on the closed hi-hat, snare drum on two and four, and then we are going to alternate two 16th notes on the kick drum. So the first measure, we're just playing on the downbeat in the E, so one E, two E, three E, four E. And then the next measure, we are going to shift those notes over a 16th note. So now we're playing on the E and the and of every single beat. Then measure number three, we are shifting over again, and then the same for measure number four. And the key here is to focus on your slide technique with each double. So now let me show you this exercise at a nice relaxed tempo so you can get a feel for it. Pillar number two is control. And a great way to build control, especially in your hand and foot relationship, is by doing split exercises. Split exercises are simply when you split a pattern between your hands and your feet. So in this case, we are going to do double splits. So we are just going to hit two 16th notes with your dominant hand and then two 16th notes with your foot. So one E on the hand and a uh on the kick, two E on the hand, and uh on the kick and you keep repeating that over and over. A nice little bonus is every measure you could switch which hand you're using. You could even alternate to just up the challenge level a little bit. So again, let's check this exercise out just at a nice controlled tempo.
Pillar number three is muscle development. And this is where I like to add in more notes. We are moving past just doubles. So what we are going to play here is an exercise that I call the single to quad pyramid. So on the hands, we are simply going to play eighth notes on the hi-hat and snare drum on beats two and four. And then we are going to expand what our kick is doing every measure. So the first measure, we are just playing quarter notes. So singles just on one, two, three, and four. Measure number two, we are playing doubles. So one E, two E, three E, four E. Measure number three, we are playing triples. And measure number four, we are playing quads so this actually just means we are playing 16th notes on the kick throughout the entire measure now all these exercises are great because they can be beginner and advanced friendly it just depends on what tempo you're playing it at but with this exercise maybe if the quads at the end are feeling too daunting maybe cut those out and even if the triples are feeling like too much you just want to alternate between singles and doubles you can do that if you're more at the beginner level. So now let's hear what this full exercise sounds like, again, at a nice controlled tempo. And now we are talking about endurance, and this is where your legs are going to start to burn like crazy. And that is because to work our endurance, we are using an exercise technique called Tabata. Tabata is where you do something as fast as you possibly can for 20 seconds straight. And then after that, you get 10 seconds rest. So you repeat this process eight times. So for a total of four minutes. So now we are going to translate this to your kick drum. What you are going to do is play straight 16th notes on the kick drum and just the kick drum for 20 seconds as fast as you possibly can. And then you get 10 seconds of rest and you repeat this for four minutes total. And trust me, your legs will burn a lot. <laughs> Let me show you a quick example. All right, so now that you know the exercises and you know the pillars, let's put it into a nice 30-day plan so that you can make serious progress and increase your foot speed. So what I want you to do is take each exercise and practice it for five minutes, five days a week for 30 days. So that means you are practicing a total of 20 minutes a day for five days a week. Now practicing each one of these pillars every single day is going to make sure that your foot is nice and well-rounded and that you have all the pillars working together to seriously up-level your speed. Now these are just a few of the exercises from a full course that I have on DBO Academy called the Foot Speed Challenge. In this course, we go much more in depth through each pillar because there are a ton of different exercises to help you develop and strengthen each pillar. I've had students that have gone through this course that have literally doubled their foot speed in 30 days and they make their before video and their after video so they can see exactly how much progress they've made. If you want access to this full course, it is available on DBO Academy and doors open there on January 11th. This is my online drum school filled with courses for people who are just starting out to people who have been drumming for decades. Here you will find your drumming path that guides you step by step to making constant progress on the drum kit while avoiding drumming ruts so that you can reach your full potential on the kit. Doors are only gonna be open for five days, so if you want to make sure that you get a spot in DBO Academy, click here to join the early bird waitlist where you can get in even a day early. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you the exact blueprint for you to map out your own drumming journey so that you can take exercises like these and make sure that you get your full potential out of them and see serious results. Seriously, this is the key to consistent growth on the drum set. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. I can't wait to see the progress that you make with your foot speed. Stay true and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.